Well, folks, this is one of the more exciting visits we are going to have with our friends from the Blank Park Zoo. It's always exciting to talk about things that are going on down on the south side of Des Moines. But when the entire world is talking about an event that happened here less than a week ago, Jackie, right? it's even better. Absolutely. Of course, we just teased. Uh, it's all about the baby rhino this morning. So we wanted to get more details from some of the experts who've been involved since the new baby arrived. No question about it. Shannon McKinney here. She's the director of animal care. And Christina O'Donnell, the large mammal keeper from the Blank Park Zoo joining us. And this was huge news because uh, last weekend, uh, all the folks over at the Blank Park Zoo was all abuzz because we have another baby. We do. We are so excited to announce that we have a new baby rhino that was born last Friday to Ayana, which we have patiently been waiting for. Now, how long has she been in gestation? Because uh, rhinos, they go for a long time. People always say, oh, an elephant has a long gestation period. It's about a year. This exceeded a year. Yep, so gestation is anywhere from 15 to 17 months, and we did breed them twice, uh, 15 to 17 months before. So we kind of had almost a four month window of when she could give birth. Right, and we were having bets as to when this was gonna happen <laughs> and nobody was even close. I mean, no. no, everybody missed it. They were way off and we have some video of the actual birth when it did happen, folks, which is really cool. And the thing is, people are fascinated by this, aren't they? Oh, absolutely, because there are a, less than a thousand rhinos left totally of the eastern black rhinos and so this birth is extremely important to the population. Yeah, Christina you're that, seeing right? the, the watching the video here explain what we're seeing here. So we had a live monitor feed so we could monitor her pregnancy and make sure that we could monitor the progression of it just to make sure that there weren't any complications. We had vet staff on uh, call as well. So we actually had a watch party at the vet office, and so it was almost like watching a football game or some <laughs> some other sports event. But we watched on the monitor until the baby was born. It was standing, it was nursing, and everything seemed to be just perfect. And those are all the positive signs that everything is going as it should be. Yeah, absolutely. So there's not really a definitive window of like how long it should be before the baby starts to stand. There's a good four hour time frame that they could be standing, but our baby got up very quickly. She started nursing. She's just a perfect little one. Yeah, you said she, so it, it is a girl. Yes. It, it is a little girl, but not so little, is she? Oh, no, absolutely. So it was surprising. She was 112 pounds, which Tumani, yeah, when she was born, she was only 80. Wow. And it's amazing. We have some photos, too, to give you an idea of how big uh, of an animal this is uh, when she was born, because it was amazing when they first weighed her. Um, we'll see that picture here in just a couple of seconds. But uh, there she is standing next to Ayana right there. And that looks like just a small rhino. Right. Okay, and, and that's exactly what you would expect. And, but look at the size of the horns on Ayana there, uh, just to give you a comparison uh, to the size of the rhino and the size of her as well too, but there you go. That's the one I'm talking about. Look at the size of that thing, Jackie. Well, does this kind of take you back to when Tamani was born and just the excitement and just seeing the baby and what that means of bringing new life, especially to a species that really needs some increasing numbers. Oh in our yeah, world. definitely. It was so exciting, especially to have two babies now at Blank Park Zoo. Um, I mean, that's awesome for the population. It's awesome for Ayana and Keanu to be so successful two times in a row. Now, That's huge. Explain why it's so important and why the world, not just Des Moines, but the world was excited with the birth of a black rhino. So right now, um, as I mentioned, there are less than a thousand black rhinos total, eastern black rhinos, mm -hmm. and uh, about 200 or so of those are in human care. The rest are in the wild. Unfortunately, they face things like poaching, loss of habitat. You know, there's a lot of, of things going against them. And so with a 15 to 17 month gestation, you can imagine it takes a long time for that population to bounce back. Right. So every time a rhino is poached, that's, you know, really hurting the population greatly. So by having two now baby rhinos born at the zoo is a huge impact to that population. It is one step closer to saving them, which is really important for keeping the eastern black rhino around. Absolutely. Okay, now we brought the rhinos in a few years ago, Christina. We had just two. Uh, mm -hmm. and they weren't real large. They were still in the growing stages. Right. Now we have four black rhinos. Uh, is Do we have room for four black rhinos at the Blank Park Zoo? Yeah, so our barn is set up that we are able to keep them in a very good routine where we can rotate Keanu and Tumani on exhibit. So if guests want to come see the rhinos, even though the baby isn't viewable just yet, um, Keanu and Tumani are, will be outside as long as weather is permitting. So it's a great opportunity to see them. Um, but we still have plenty of space for mom and baby to have a good opportunity to bond and 
plenty of space right now, but because they are a part of the species survival plan, as Shannon mentioned, they are very important for breeding purposes. We are hoping Tumani will get a recommendation to go to another zoo and be able to start a family of her own. There you go. That's Absolutely. Perfect. So let's talk about the future a little bit, because as soon as you announce baby mm -hmm. right. uh, at the zoo, everybody's like, okay, when do we get to see it? So what's kind of the timeline where, uh, as the public, will be able to enjoy the new baby? So we want to make sure that we're respecting the mother-baby bond. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to totally rely on Ayana to give us the cues of when she's ready. We don't want this to be a stressful situation. We want to make sure that um, it is um, uh, nice and relaxed and positive for both baby so will and she mother. Be, will she be isolated from the public then? Will, will there be barriers Correct. put up or anything? Or, or what's that, how's well, that going to work? So fortunately right now what we can do is because of the size of our barn, we've built it in a way that we can keep her segregated from uh, the viewing population. So in case the, it's a cold day and the rhinos have to be inside, the public can still see, as Christina mentioned, Keanu and Tumani, but we don't necessarily need to be able to see the baby and mom, so that gives them that time. And then as soon as mom is ready to put baby in the limelight, we will definitely let the public know. But like I said, we just want to make sure that we're paying attention to the cues that Ayana is giving us. Absolutely. And you guys are always very respectful of mm -hmm. that. Um, so if we want to follow along and we want to see more cute videos and pictures, uh, basically go check out the Facebook page or things like that, because I imagine you guys will be continuing to update everybody on what's going definitely. on. Definitely. Our Facebook page will always have all the updates for social media, especially revolving around the Rhino. And then we do have newsletters that you can subscribe to as well if you go on to our website um, and of course the website itself Blank Park Zoo uh, has uh, all the information all those as details well. as well. And this would okay. be a perfect time to become a member of the Blank Park Zoo because oh, that way you can go there and, and watch the rhinos and take a look at them every single day. Right? Yep anytime you and want. One final thing uh, name of the little baby rhino when can we start you know, throwing our, our suggestions in the name uh, vault? You can start throwing your suggestions in now. It's $50 for uh, one name, 100 for three names. And then April 21st is when we will go ahead and narrow that down. And we will have an announcement of a name of the winner by April 26th. And you know you can do that right here, right? Yes. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> and so if people want to make that donation to make sure they're going in on the name, is that part of the website as well? Yes, yeah. you can go to okay. the website to go Wonderful. ahead and register for that. Wonderful. Love it. Well, Thank you, ladies, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank there you, you go, folks. How cool is that? Another rhino, black rhino at the Blank Park Zoo. It is 20 minutes past 7 o'clock right now. Don't go too far. We're going to be right back and celebrate some more things, including you next right here.